Hello and welcome back. When last we left off, we had just managed to uh, escape Candlekeep with Grine. However, unfortunately, we were ambushed in the night and poor Grine didn't stand a chance. We fled the battle and now we are about to end up in a discussion with young Emoin. Sorry I followed you, but I never get out of Candlekeep, and those monks are such a bore. Never any decent coin in their pockets, neither. I, I saw Garin, and I'm so sorry. Kind of figured something bad might happen to you out here. How could you have known? Garin did not even tell me. I uh, accidentally read a letter on his desk the other day. Can't remember exactly what it said, but he might have... It might be on his his body. Anyway, I'm gonna let you wander around out here. I'm not... I'm not gonna let you wander around out here all alone. Never let a friend down, no sir. Stick with you until you say otherwise, I will. And we got a little bit tongue-tied there. What would you have me do? <laughs> all right, all right. Right, let's have a look at the map. Here we have the map. Points of interest, ambush site, as you can see that area has already been cleared out, although I'm surprised this bit of black hasn't been as well, but anyway, we shall go and inspect Garin's corpse first, but before we do, we shall give Imowin some arrows to go with that bow that she has, and she's loaded with healing potions, so we'll give her two. I'll have two to go with that one, and I'm also going to pinch her wand. I shall equip some arrows up here as well, because in a minute, Your wish? I'm all going right, to get a bow. Right. Over here, quick save. Ryan, no! Well, there he is. Although the other corpses seem to have disappeared, he's the only one remaining. I'll take that. And the short bow. Lead armor. We'll take that sword. Can sell that later. Ogre, we'll take that. And we'll loot Ryan's corpse. We shall equip the bow. We shall equip the leather armor. Oh, no, we won't because that will disable my wizard spell. So we'll give the armor to Emmerwin. And we shall run around naked for now. Now let's read Garion's scroll. My friend Garion, please forgive the abruptness with which I now write. But time is short and there is much to be done. What we have long feared may soon come to pass, though not in the manner foretold, and certainly not in the proper time frame. As we both know, forecasting these events has proved increasingly difficult, leaving little option other than a leap of faith. We have done what we can for those in thy care, but the time nears when we must step back and let matters take what course they will. We have, perhaps, been a touch too sheltering, to this point. Despite my desire to remain neutral in this matter, I could not, in good conscience, let events proceed without some measure of warning. The other side will move very soon, and I urge thee to leave Candlekeep this very night, if possible. The darkness may seem equally threatening, but a moving target is much harder to hit, regardless of how sparse the cover. A fighting chance is all that can be asked for at this point. Should anything go awry, do not hesitate to seek aid from travellers along the way. I do not need to remind thee that it is dangerous land, even without our current concerns, and a party is stronger than an individual in all respects. Should additional assistance be required, I understand that Jahira and Khalid are currently at the Friendly Arm Inn. They know little of what is past, but they are ever thy friends, and will no doubt help however they can. 
Luck be with us all. I'm getting too old for this. E. So, Garan receives a mysterious scroll from E. I wonder who that could possibly be. We shall find out later, I'm sure. Right. Now, I intend to explore this area because there is some fine XP out there to be had and it's good to get it now before we get anyone else in our party just to get ahead of the game a little. However, it can also be rather dangerous and fraught with many deaths should anything horrific go wrong. Let us see. We may bump into a bear or two, or maybe even a wolf or gibbling. Whoop! There be a bear! I'm gone. Let's tick him off, shall we? Hurry up! My blade will cut you down to size. Right, bear's attacking him, I've done had him all right, all right. Your wish? All right, all right. Yep, I've done had enough of this. Hurry oh. up! My blade will cut you down to size. Yes, fear. If you insist. Where'd he go? The heck? Huh. Ah, wait a minute. Huh. Okay, well, that's strange. That bear managed to get away from us. Let's just try up here quickly. Nope, that bear is definitely gone. Oh well. Bang goes 175 XP. Ah! Could that be the bear? That is the bear! I cannot. I've done Run enough with of this. What would you Run, Kovax! <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Your wit? Well. Good on you if you see Hurry up! Day. Yeah. 175. Ooh, another bear. If you insist. No, wait. Uh, I'm not going into the blackness. What would you have me do? That is asking for trouble. You insist. Yep. This way. Yes, my combat will be fraught with much pausing. Hurry up. Especially at this point. Oh no! First death scene. Right, if let's try that again. What would you have? All right, all right. <laughs> I'm gone. You're winning well. Your life. Here. What you want? I've done had enough of this. Hurry up! If you insist. What would nope, you you're not insist? getting away from me. If you insist. Mm. 
Yeah. Hurry up. Right. Yes, can be very dangerous in these woods. Don't touch me. I might catch something. Hello. Well, I was about to tell you not to come any closer, but that never seems to work, does it? Well, regardless, I should remain true to the genre. Don't come any closer, or I'll jump. Yeah, you heard me, and I'll do it too. So, don't come any closer, again, and don't try to stop me. Uh, no, by all the gods, do not do such a thing. There is so much to live for. You're right, of course. What a fool I was to think this would solve anything. It didn't solve anything the last time. I stood here and I was stopped, nor the time before that. I really should develop a better method of dealing with adversity. So, such a long walk as well. Hmm... Perhaps if I had Mumsy construct a cliff closer to town. Ah well, thanks for your concern. Ta! Uh. What would you have me do? Okay. All right, all right. Right. The uncovering of the blackness continues. There'll be the road again. Always good to tab every now and again, just in case there are a few hidden items knocking around. Hello there. Hello there. Well, busy day for me today indeed. Strange noises throughout the night and now a plethora of people strolling about the wood. You do look a touch more hospitable than the last two I met though. Well met stranger, I'm called Colstead. You saw two people in the wood? I was told to meet some friends at the Friendly Arm Inn. Perhaps they could be the ones you met. Are one and the same? I doubt these are the ones you seek. They do not seem the friendly type and far afield of the inn. If you wish to meet them, I left them not a moment ago, just up the road. You will have to pass them anyway if you wish to go to the Friendly Arm. There is a crossroads a ways to the east, and the inn is north of that. Thanks for your time. I shall be on my way. Fare thee well, as they say. So, two strange people... Monteron and Tsar. Now these guys are evil aligned. I'm tempted to take them, but... Yes, I shall... Leave them. Monteron, but I will talk You are first. so aggravating! She's disturbing to my demeanor! Hold on, Monteron. This young wayfarer is in need. Someone has set about thee, stranger, and you have barely escaped with your life. Aye, sir. Looks to be... Looks to have been roughed up quite well. Indeed. I can offer you healing potions if you wish as a token of goodwill. Uh, I'd be grateful for any assistance. Nothing to fear from these simple potions. <laughs> I'll not even hold you in debt, though your conscience knows otherwise. Just like all good people. Perhaps as payment you would go with us to Nashkel. It is a troubled area and we mean to investigate some disturbing rumours surrounding the local mines. Some acquaintances are very concerned about the iron shortage, specifically where to lay blame in the matter. You would be useful though. I'll uh, not hold you to it. We are to meet the mayor of the town. A man named Baron Gaskill, I believe. Your conscience be your guide. Now, I don't really want to take these with us, but I know Monteron has an oil of speed potion that could come in handy later on. And I'm half tempted to take them and then be rid of them. I'll take them for now. I will join with you, but I must meet someone first. Perhaps you will go with me. With precious little time, but it's best to travel accompanied. Aye, we'll go with you. You owe us for our time, though. Uh, indeed.
Well, we're getting 10 gold. That's not bad. What do you got? I want that oil of speed. And I want your potion. And I shall take those scrolls. Right. We'll have them for a bit at least. A few extra hit points will help out. Oh! Shiny in the tree! What's that? A diamond. That's going to bolster the old gold coffers quite a bit. Binkos! Hmm? Sorry, chum, but I can't stop to chat. There's been another caravan raided northeast of Baragos, and I must report these dire straits to the Grand Dukes. A messenger's work is never done. Okay. Later, dude. Ooh, Wolfie. My blade will cut you down to Hurry size. Up. If you insist. No. Oh, Montron's taking a hit. You spoke. I'll do your toil. Some I could do no other. That wolf would probably kill a mage in one hit. So let's see if that does This happen. does suck your blade. Ah, turning AI off. If I must. What need he dead sleep? Lightly. Must we be so insufferably charitable? Would you have if you insist? Yes, we must, sir. Because I'm going to be a good guy party, and eventually you'll be gone. Goody goodies make me sick. Oh, thou wanderer, stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Oh, thou wanderer, stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. It's been nigh on to a ten days since I've seen a soul walking this road, and I've been without decent conversation since. Travelling nowadays appears to be the domain of either the desperate or the deranged. If thou wouldst pardon my intrusion, my inquire which pertains to thee. A fair bit of desperate, actually. Might you know the way to the friendly arm inn? I was told I might find some friends there. That I would. The inn is but a short distance to the north, and its doors are open to all. I have no doubt that thy friends shall be there, waiting with open arms. My sympathies for any hardships the road may have inflicted upon thee, though I am certain everything shall turn out for the best. My, but I have wasted too much of thy time and said too much already. I shall take my leave and wish thee all the best. So, right, some right. strange old man in a red robe who can run really fast. Rinse wind! No. Well. That yep, was, in way. fact, Elminster. Hurry up. And he shall pop up every now and again through the story. Yay, hey, one dead Svart. What would you have me do? Right. I think Imwin is proficient in short swords. Yes, she is. So she will be getting that short sword. Your wish? All right, all right. Right, if I recall, up here there is a parody little gem. I see a twinkling off in the distance. What's on that rock? It's a ring. But a ring of what? I don't know, because my law isn't high enough. Law 50. Hurry up! Alright, alright! So we've been told the caravan's been raided, quite possibly in this area. Hello, pal. Oh. If you don't mind, please try to keep your voices down. There are beasties about, with better hearing than we. Sorry to have disturbed you. I'll be on my way. I did not intend for my words to scare you away. They were a simple warning of dangers true and meant as nothing more. The occasional chat is certainly welcome, but perhaps today is not the best day for it. The denizens of the woods seem to have grown rather aggressive lately. As gruesome as it sounds, they've probably become accustomed to humanoid meat. Can't really blame them, though. 
too many people lost their means to the iron shortage and have turned to the land for sustenance. Monsters and animals must find food somewhere. I'd help your we I'd keep your weapons at the ready as you travel. What would you have here? Alright, let's do some map clearance. Yes, a death be in me. Well, hey. If I no get help, stop something. I could do no other. You're very well. I care not this way. Hurry up! Huh, this way. This better suck your blade. What you want this way? Your voice hardly worth my time. Yep. If you insist. One dead wolfie. Right, all right. Poor Montrons in better days, though. Ah, oh, why won't this battle music stop? Whoa! An ogre in the woods. I wonder if he's the cause of all this banditry going on. What neatly lightly I must. Something troubling you? Hardly worth my time. Ye spoke at this better be go suck your you guys get I well out of it. Hurry up, if you insist. Ha! Well done, Emowyn. Lightly, Taskmaster. What would you have me do? Your wish, if you insist. Ooh, two magic belts. Oh, I'm overloaded. Alright, for now then, Emowyn can carry some of this stuff that we're gonna sell. Quarter cut, quarter starves you can't sell. Okay, can't identify either of those. Carry all the goodies I want to sell for now, Emmerwin. Oh, including those. Hurry up! All right, all right! Right, I think at this point I'm going to leave this map for now as I'll have to travel through it again. And I'll head to the friendly arm. Impressive sight. All right, all right. We will travel over here first because there is a sneaky little item hidden over here that's rather good for a mage. But I won't be giving it to Zar because he's not going to be in my party for much longer.
What would you have me do? You're all right, all Let's right. Let's play some pretty music. I will. I'll do your toil, my friend. Hurry up, if you insist. Hi, friend. I've not seen you here before today. What brings you to the friendly arm? Nothing much, really. Just road-worn road travellers looking for a place to rest. I see, I see. Pardon my being too forward, but you feel the bearing of someone I've been looking for. About your height, they were. Same style of dress, or thereabouts. I dare say you seem to be the spitting image of them. Might you have travelled from Candlekeep by any chance? Actually, yes. I was there until quite recently. Well, that just about clinches it then. By any wild stretch of the imagination, would your name happen to be Kovacs? Yes, uh, good sir. That is my name. It would seem that I am the one you have been looking for. Yes, well, it would. In that case, don't move. I have something for you. Yes, I bet you do. What would you have me do? Huh, you're a queer. Do you want to tell me a story about trying no I'm gone. Ah! Your voice is ambrosia. Good on you if you save the day. And he is confused. Oh, you can still cast spells while confused. That's not fair. Oh, Monteron. Never mind. Never loved you. Hurry up. All right, all right. I wanted in provision like the animals. But it's more than just taking their eyes. That's creepy, sir. Right, let us take all these. Oh, if they'll let me. Right, studded leather, Immoran can hold, hold that and that. We are not going to resurrect Zar or reload because I'm not keeping him. Right, in fact, get out. What would you have me do? And the good thing is we get to keep Zar for a little bit at least because with Montron being dead. Alright, alright! We can kick him out of the party without him wanting to leave. Alright, alright! Back home, Puffcuts would always tell me a story. Oh, him wins encumbered and cannot move. I did not notice. Quite clearly. Okay, that's better. Hurry up! Alright, right. alright! And here we are at the Friendly Arm Inn. And when we come back, we'll go in and have a chat with some of the, uh customers. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day and I'll see you again. Bye bye.